My main role within Trady Standards is to look at the Packy Travel Regulations, which are changing come July the 1st this year from the regulation to the Packy Travel Directive, which will update the current laws. They will add bits and pieces to it, which will make it a bit more difficult for Trady Standards, who I have to resource issues as to how they would deal with looking at these particular pieces of law, as it's going to change quite considerably. Since the UK became there, back in 1992, they implemented these, the original directive into the regulation. And what's happened there is it's the only piece of law which came out relating solely to holidays. We had to rely on other bits of law. So here was the package holiday that everybody knew and loved. What it didn't cover, of course, it didn't cover the cheapness you can get with low-cost airlines, but also it didn't cover the issue with internet usage, which is much more these days. So they needed to update it. And the best way to do update it was to change the law, which is why we've had to wait 25 years for them to change it, to make it more responsible for package holidays this, this day and age rather than back in 1992. Nothing negative particularly because it did involve uh, something called EU 261, which probably means a lot more to people who've had trouble with delayed, cancelled or overbooked flights, where that was very much a case of if we didn't have the directive, you wouldn't be able to get almost an immediate compensation for a delayed flight, which you can nowadays. Also, we hadn't joined the EU, we hadn't, wouldn't have got this specific piece of legislation dealing with holidays, and I think it definitely needed that. And yes, it definitely needed updating, because what we've got now should cover most of the issues which you will get if you're going to book a holiday nowadays. I think if we're going to leave the EU, then there's going to be a, a problem, certainly with the UK enforcement of the law, as it is, will be a directive. We can't avoid it becoming regulation, which it will be in July. So from that point onwards, it, we will be enforcing the new laws here. That is an issue for consumers, because consumers will not know exactly what protection is in place. When we leave the EU, it will be slightly simpler but we will be inundated i have a feeling with lots of different websites which are actually trying to sell and target consumers over here with holidays matching quite a lot of holidays being sold here but there'll be no protection for consumers in the future when we leave i think that what it will happen if when we leave the european union thinking much more much easier, rather, for consumers to deal with the holiday complaints if they bought from a UK holiday provider and the sale takes place in the UK, much easier for us to deal with it under new regulation. If we've bought from abroad through a website or some other means of getting through a website, then it'd be more difficult for us to take action for that consumer abroad. And we think it will be a few, lot of problems coming up soon when we've actually only got the... when we're out of the European Union, we don't have the direct contact like we should be having with them. With the EU partners, certainly in my area of trade, in my area of business, is the fact that we would like to see a contact between different tour operators or enforcement bodies in the different EU member states. So if we have issues over here, then we would like to talk to enforcement bodies over in the other countries so that we know if they sold, if they are selling different holidays over here, they are compliant with insolvency protection in their own country. Only way we can really find that out is for us to have a contact here to contact them to see whether in fact they're compliant with the new laws as they are. Post-Brexit is going to be more difficult because the law won't change. Because Brexit won't be for, well, I think it's two years from next year, this law will be in from July this year, and this law will be providing all sorts of different areas for consumers when they think of holidays. I'll just give you one. To, linked travel arrangement will be something totally new. The protection won't be there that there currently is. And when you're looking at the European Union, they will have to introduce these linked travel arrangements. And we're going to have trouble understanding here, seriously we'll have trouble, unless we can get some form of funding for guidance notes, but also for training. Because I know enforcers will have trouble sorting out exactly what's happening. And I know consumers will have trouble understanding exactly what they're protected for. We have already discussed this with the Bayes over there in the government to say if we actually could use the national trading standards as the focal point where you can have regional 
regional enforcement of this particular piece of law, which is quite considerable. And we in Trade East, as you know, have a slight lack of resources there. They could deal with the regional side and they could actually get some means going that could actually make it work. Now, Bays are keen to get guidance notes, but not so keen to work this way. And as Trade Stones will know, currently we have, when we look at estate agents, we have a body, powers Trade Stones, who look after all estate agent issues here. They have negative licensing. So negative licensing means that if the company breaks the law, then they'll get on a, they get a fixed penalty for it, which is what we want in Trade Stones for the new law we're talking about. Fixed penalty be the way forward, but we've got to get the government to support us in that. I think the Brexit think tank is a great idea because it will focus government upon exactly what issues there are for consumers in the areas of trade that we currently enforce. In my, in my role, I would be thinking Bays could support us because they could support trading standards, providing perhaps resources we don't have already, to actually look at to see whether consumers have complaints, can we resolve them properly? In the new regime, it will need some education to find out how we actually re how we resolve these problems. Mm -hmm.